Dear students, welcome to our lecture series of integral calculus. Our today's topic is uh, volume by the method of cylindrical shells. And in our previous two lessons, we used method of disc and method of washers in order to calculate volume of a solid of revolution. So first let me say something about uh, method of washers and in this case if your region, the region you want to revolve should be bounded either above by a curve or below by a curve or right by a curve, left by another curve. For example here, if you revolve this region, you see this region is bounded right by y equal to x square and left by y equal to x. And if you revolve this region about y axis, then you will get a solid material with cone shaped interior like this. Volume equal um, y equal to c to y equal to d a y dy. And the question is how can we calculate area of, of a cross section? This A Y is the area of a cross section. So if you if we take a cross section here, then the area of this cross section will be pi times outer radius square minus pi into inner radius square. So outer radius means this radius and which is nothing but fx. So pi fx square. And inner radius means this this one, which is nothing but y equal to zx, so pi zx square. Now, if you integrate this area of this cross section from one end to another end from here, let's say y equal to c, and at this point y equal to d. So, if you integrate the area of a cross section from one end to another you will get the volume of this solid material and before in our previous lesson I said if you revolve your cross section about y axis then the cross section will perpendicular to the y axis. So we see that the region you want to revolve about y axis is bounded right by a curve and left by a curve then you can easily calculate area of this cross section. However, uh, for this problem, uh, the region you want to revolve about y axis is not bounded right by a curve or left by a curve. Instead, it is bounded by uh, the given a single curve and the x axis. So, in this case, the calculation of area of a cross section is not easy or even you cannot found the area of the cross section. And again the writing x in terms of y, here it was very easy, you can write easily uh, x in terms of y. But here for this problem and for this problem it is very difficult to write x in terms of y. And again sometimes integration in this case the integration is too difficult. So in order to face these types of problems washer's method will fail. So how can we deal with these types of problems in order to calculate volume of a solid of revolution. There is one technique or one method which is called cylindrical shell method. So let us try to understand what is shell method or cylindrical shell method. If you consider a, if, if we consider if you consider a shell cylindrical shell at x equal to x at this point then you see If we consider a cylindrical shell like this at x equal to x, 
then this cylindrical shell will look like this it's a you see it's a cylindrical shell and now uh, for let us consider it is a cross section okay and uh, we can easily calculate the area of this cross section so what is the area of this cross section you just need to uh, consider the circumference and multiply it by its height so you see this cylinder will look like this and the length is nothing but circumference and the width is the height so the area of this rectangle is length time width so the area of this shell will be 2 pi r h where h is the height of this uh, shell and r is the radius of this shell this is the r and r is nothing but x so this one is 2 pi r so r is the radius shell radius r is the shell radius let's say shell radius and h is the shell height so this is the uh, area of of this cross section but there is a difference between the previous method and this method so from the previous method we know if we revolve this region about y axis then the cross section will perpendicular to the y axis but here in this method if we if you revolve your region about y axis then you see the cross section means this cylindrical shell is perpendicular to the x axis so in this case your formula will be integrating with respect to x so if you revolve uh, your region revolve the given region about y axis then the shell or cross section the shell or let's say cross section will perpendicular to the x axis so our formula will be volume formula will be we need to integrate this area it means this area we need to integrate so here 2 pi and shell radius is nothing but x you see this is x and shell height is this one which is nothing but fx so twice by x fx and we need to integrate this area from one end to another end x equal to a2 x equal b integrating with respect to x so let me say it again if you revolve your region the given region about y axis then in your formula will be this one integrating with respect to x because the cross section or shell will perpendicular to the x axis from previous two methods method of disc and method of washers we know uh, when the cross section is perpendicular to the x axis then we use um, integrating with respect to x formula and again when cross section is perpendicular to the y axis then our formula is the other one we need to integrate with respect to y so the same basic principle we are going to use here if you but the, the difference is if you revolve your region about y axis then cross section will perpendicular to the x axis so your formula will be this one and similarly if you revolve your region if you revolve your region about x axis 
then the cross section will perpendicular to the y axis. So your volume formula will be this one in this case y equal to c y equal to d twice pi y f y dy. So we have two volume formula formula 1 and formula 2 formula 1 we will use when the region is going to revolve about y axis and in that case the cross section will perpendicular to the y x axis. So our formula will be integrating with respect to x but when the region with uh, we revolve about x axis the cross section will perpendicular to the y axis and our formula will be second one we need to integrate with respect to y. So let us try to understand more clearly by using some examples. So let me review it again. Uh, when the region is revolved about y axis then the shell or cross section will be perpendicular to the x axis. So our volume formula will be integrating with respect to x the first one. And when the given region is revolved about x axis then the cross section or shell will perpendicular to the y axis. So our formula will be the second one integrating with respect to y. So please remember that if you revolve about y axis you need to integrate with respect to x. If you revolve about x axis you need to integrate with respect to y. So let us try to understand how can we use shell method in order to solve these problems. Uh, first one, it says use cylindrical shells to find the volume of the solid generated when the region includes between the following curves. The curve first one is y equal to x square. Let me first sketch the graph. The first one is y equal to x square is like this. This is our y axis, this is x axis and x equal to 1 let's say here and x equal to 2 so is here. So if you end the x axis, so if you revolve this region about y axis then your formula will be the, the first one. You see if you revolve about y axis we know our volume formula is this one integrating with respect to x. So x equal to a to x equal b 2 pi x fx dx. So x equal to 1 x equal to 2 and if you take a shell here let's say at 1.5 so it will look like this, it will look like this and the shell is, is, is perpendicular to the x axis. So we need to use this formula integrating with respect to x. <coughs> so the lower limit is 1, upper limit 2, 2 pi we can write out of integration and x fx equal y square sorry x square dx. So this equal x cubed 1 to 2 dx 2 pi which is equal x to the power 4 by 4. The antiderivative is x to the power 4 by 4 and which is equal pi by 2 2 to the power 4 minus 1 and this equal 15 pi by 2. So this is the volume of this solid material and now let us try to understand the second one and this one also you need to integrate with this um, you need to revolve the region about about y axis so our formula will be the same one and the graph will look like this x equal 1 to x equal 4 
and the equation is y equal to root x. So 1 is here, 2, 3, 4 is here. So if you revolve this region about y axis, you will get a shell which is perpendicular to the x axis. So this is our formula. So lower limit is 1, upper limit 4, 2 pi x, fx equal root x, dx. So this one will be x to the power 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1, 1 to 4, 2 pi into 5 by 2. So 2 by 5, x to the power 5 by 2, 1 to 4. So this equal 4 pi by 5, 4 it means 2 square. So 2 to the power 5, 32 minus 1, this equal 31 times 4 pi divided by 5 which is equal 4, 124 pi divided by 5. So this is the answer. And the third one, here also you, we are going to revolve about y axis and the region, the graph will be like this, y equal to x and y equal to x square. So this point is 1, 1 y equal to x, y equal to x square. In the first quadrant it is revolve about y axis. So the, the formula will be same one, the same one. But here the height of the shell will be what? This is the height. So our shell in this case will be like this and at x equal to x this is the radius so and the x is from 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 lower limit and upper limit 1 2 pi the radius shell radius is okay x but the shell height fx will be what? fx will be y at here minus y at here. So y at here is x, y at this point is x square. So it will be x minus x square will be shell height dx. So now we can easily integrate it x square minus x cubed 0 to 1 dx. 2 pi cubed by 3 minus x to the power 4 by 4 0 to 1 which is equal to 2 pi 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 2 pi 1 by 4 minus 3 by 12 so this equal 5 by 6 so 5 by 6 is the answer